So we are going to set high and low fire combustions on the slim fit 550 boiler. And we will start off by initiating a call for heat. This boiler is already running for us. So after we get it running, we're going to open up the front door and set out of the way. Now the three areas we're going to work on inside the boiler will be our throttle screw, which is behind this cap. So we're going to pop off our cap and expose our throttle screw. Our throttle screw will be adjustable with a three millimeter hex head wrench. Our offset, which is located behind the screw, which is a T40 Torx. Since our boiler's running already, we can go ahead and force it into high fire. So we're gonna push our up and down buttons in together and hold them in for seven seconds until the contractor menu appears. Once the menu appears, we'll scroll down to diagnostics and press our square. And then to manual test mode, press the square and now we're into our manual test mode screen. By pressing the square again, it allows us to force high, low, medium, or auto fire. We're going to choose high fire and set it by pressing the square. While the boiler's ramping into its high fire range, we will move over to the exhaust. This is our flue temperature sensor. We will grab onto the flue temperature sensor by the metal and pull it and the grommet out. Right now we'll leave them together, but we will put them in separate. Be sure to pull off by the metal of the sensor or we could damage the Molex connector or the wire. This gives us a port to put our analyzer in. Now we can take our combustion analyzer, view that we are in high fire, be sure your gauge is putting you to halfway of your flue pipe, insert the analyzer, and view your CO2 reading. The Slim Fit 550 should have a high fire CO2 of 9.2 percent. You do have a 1 percent tolerance. Now that we're stabilizing, I can see that we're at 9.02. So I'll put my analyzer to the side, come back to our throttle screw with the three millimeter hex, insert it into the middle of the throttle and give it a slight turn counterclockwise to raise the CO2. If I was trying to lower the CO2, I would turn it clockwise. Now I'll view my reading. We are now at 9.19. So that we're right, right where we want to be. 9.19, 9.2, that's good. So I will then take my analyzer out, which is hot, careful not to touch. Set it to the side to clear, and then I will force the boiler into low fire while still in manual test mode screen. We'll press the square. Your, your rate will be highlighted. We will scroll down to low and press the square to save. So again, we'll take our combustion analyzer and we'll insert into our sample port and, our, and wait for our CO2 reading to stabilize. On low fire, our CO2 of the Slim Fit 550 should be at 9%. In this case, there is no, no need for adjustment, but I will show you where the adjustment's at if needed. So we'll go ahead and take our analyzer probe out of the boiler, allow it to cool, and come to the other side. If 
if we had needed adjustment of our low fire CO2, we would use our T40 Torx into the offset adjustment screw and we, we would turn clockwise to increase the CO2 and counterclockwise to lower the CO2. We're going to put our cap back on our, onto our offset adjustment. We're going to take our blue cap for our throttle adjustment. With it back into place. Then we are going to go back to the, the flue side of our boiler, separate our flue temperature sensor grommet from our sensor, which it has a, a slight angle. We want the thick part to, to go up and the arrow to point down. Insert into our port and then put the sensor back into the boiler. At this point we can go back to our manual test mode, press the square to force our rate, pick auto, press the square to store, and then press your left arrow to scroll back to your main screen. We will line up the bottom of the jacket with the groove inside and lift the top of the jacket into place. Turn our latches and lock it down.